Bismillahirrahmanirrahim and uh, welcome back to this next video and uh, this is uh, yet another video uh, in the series of videos on the uh, pedigree analysis. Uh, in the last videos uh, I've told you about the uh, autosomal dominant uh, inheritance and their pedigree analysis and I also told you about the uh, autosomal recessive inheritance uh, and their pedigree analysis. In this particular video, I want to focus on the uh, X-linked dominant inheritance and their pedigree analysis. So the first thing is, what does this term X-linked dominant means? Uh, when we use this term X-linked, this means that the gene in question, uh, which is responsible for a particular genetic disease, uh, is located on the X chromosome. This means it is located on one of the sex chromosomes. The term dominant means that a single copy of the disease-associated mutation that is enough to cause the disease, just like the autosomal dominant inheritance. Now, the uh, phenomena is a little bit different uh, when you talk about the X-linked and the autosomal uh, inheritance uh, or the autosomal or the X-linked genetic diseases uh, because the uh, when you talk about the X-linked, the female, they have got two X chromosomes the male they have got one x chromosome and one y chromosome therefore you can expect uh, it a little bit different than the uh, autosomal dominant one because in the autosomal dominant one both the male and the female they have got two copies uh, of the two copies of a particular gene whether that is whether the alleles are normal or abnormal or a combination of the normal and the abnormal but they have got two copies when you talk about the X length, the things they are a little bit different because the male they have got only one X chromosome and the female they have got two X chromosomes. So when you talk about the normal condition, so as the female they have got two copies uh, and if both of the copies, both of the alleles they are normal. I am representing the uh, normal allele by this capital A. So if uh, both the X chromosome they are carrying the uh, normal allele, that means that particular female uh, would be normal. Same would be the case with the uh, male because they have got only one X chromosome and if that X chromosome is carrying a normal allele, that particular male would be normal. When we talk about the female in their disease state, they can be diseased uh, in the homozygous, in the heterozygous form. As you can see over here, uh, one is normal allele, the other allele on the other X chromosome that is abnormal or diseased allele. That means she is in the heterozygous condition. So she can express the disease in the uh, heterozygous condition. When you talk about the males, as they have got only one X chromosome, and if that X chromosome is carrying an abnormal or the diseased allele, he is going to uh, present the phenotype of the genetic disease. There is also another case in which the female can be affected and she is in the homozygous form. As you can see over here, both of the X chromosome, they are carrying the abnormal allele. That means she is diseased. Uh, what this means is that female have got two chances of getting the disease, whether in the homozygous or in the heterozygous condition. The male, they have just got two scenarios. If the X chromosome is carrying a normal allele, the male would be normal because there is no other X chromosome. And if that only X chromosome is carrying the abnormal allele, that means that the males are going to uh, uh, express the phenotype of the genetic disease. Now, what are the main features of the X-linked dominant inheritance? Uh, the first thing is they are never passed from father to son. The reason is very obvious. The uh, sons, they are not getting their X chromosome from their father. They are getting their X chromosome from their mother. So if the disease is X-linked, that means that the father is not able to pass that particular genetic disease to their sons. Now the affected male, they only produce affected daughters and the reason is that the females, they are getting one X chromosome from their father, they are getting one X chromosome from their mother and if the father is affected, that means he is uh, he is transferring or he is inheriting uh, a diseased allele to their daughters, thereby the affected male, they only produce the uh, affected daughters. Now the affected female, uh, when she is in the heterozygous condition, that means she is carrying one normal allele on one of the X chromosome, she is carrying uh, on the other X chromosome a diseased allele. So the affected female, when they are in their heterozygous form 
and the father is normal so they produce 50 percent normal and 50 percent affected offspring depending on the type of the x chromosome that the offspring they are getting so if they are getting the diseased allele that means they are going to uh, express the gene the phenotype of that particular genetic disorder and if they are getting the normal version they would be normal now the females they are more likely to be affected as i've told you there can be two scenarios where the females can be affected whether in the homozygous or in the heterozygous condition so when you talk about the x thing dominant inheritance so the females they are more likely to be affected since they have got two x chromosome so they have two chances of inheriting the uh, mutated allele uh, now when you talk about the x thing dominant uh, just like the autosomal dominant you uh, would not see any kind of the skipping of generation that means you'd find uh, uh, in every generation an affected individual for that particular genetic disorder now let us discuss uh, some of the important scenarios that you can uh, see in the x thing dominant disorder now, uh, the normal allele, as I've told you, I'm representing that by uh, capital E. The diseased allele, I'm representing that by the uh, small a. Now, if the mother is normal, and the only time the mother is normal, uh, when both of the X chromosome, uh, they have got the normal allele and not the uh, diseased allele. Now, the father is affected, and uh, the father has got only one X chromosome, and the, it is carrying the diseased allele, so the father is affected. So, what you can expect in the uh, offsprings? Now, these are the gametes of the uh, mother. The mother is producing uh, all of the gametes, uh, which is having uh, the normal allele. Now, the father is producing like 50% uh, of the gametes, uh, which is carrying the X chromosome. There is a diseased allele. And of course, we are not interested in the Y when you talk about the X-linked diseases, because the inheritance is solely dependent on the X chromosome and not on the Y chromosome. Therefore, we call them as the X-linked diseases. Now, if you look at the offsprings, uh, what you can expect is that all of the uh, males, they are normal. As you can see over here, as they are getting their X chromosome from their mother. So all of them, they are going to be uh, in their normal condition. And when you talk about the females, all of the females, they are going to be affected because they are getting one of their X chromosome from their father. As you can see over here, this one, this X, this red one, they are getting it from their father. And is it is scaring the diseased allele. That means that all of the female that would be affected uh, and they are affected in the uh, heterozygous condition. So uh, as I've told you in the uh, important, uh, you can say characteristics of the X thing dominant disorder that the uh, uh, affected father they only produce the affected female so this would be one of the example where you can see is that the uh, all of the sons and they are normal because they are getting their x chromosome from their normal mother and all of the daughters they are affected because they are getting their x chromosome from their affected father so this would be the condition all of the males uh, is they are representing 50 percent of the o offsprings so they are the normal and the females they are going to be affected now, another important scenario, uh, if the mother is affected, uh, the mother can be affected in two forms. She can be affected in the homozygous form and she can be affected in the heterozygous form. And this does matter. Uh, when she is affected in the homozygous form, the results are totally different when she is affected in the heterozygous form. And you will see that in a while. Now, let us take the father as normal. He is carrying only one X chromosome and uh, that is carrying a normal allele. So when you take the uh, mother in the homozygous form and she is affected in the homozygous form as you can see over here all of the offsprings uh, whether they are the male or they are the females they are affected because all of them they are carrying uh, their uh, one of the x chromosome which carry the uh, a disease allele now when the mother is affected in the heterozygous form as you can see over here 50 percent of the gametes they are carrying the normal allele of the mother 50 percent of the gametes of the mother that is carrying the diseased allele and of course the father as we can see over here he is normal so if you look at this particular case now 50 percent of the uh, females uh, these are two females so that means 50 percent of the females they are normal because they are getting one x chromosome from their mother which is carrying the uh, normal allele they are getting their x chromosome from their father which is also carrying the normal allele so these uh, these this female is uh, normal 
in this particular case as she is getting the diseased allele from her mother and she is getting a normal allele from her father so she is going to be uh, she is going to be uh, in the affected form so 50 percent of the females they are normal 50 percent of the females they are affected same is the case with the uh, males if they are getting the uh, a normal copy uh, from their mother so they are going to be normal but if they are getting their uh, x, x chromosome uh, from their mother which is carrying the disease daily so they are going to be uh, affected that means that 50 percent of the offsprings they would be normal and 50 percent of the offspring that would be affected and this is very obvious from this punnett square this female is normal and this male is normal but this male is affected and this female is affected that means 50 percent are normal and 50 percent they are affected now let us have um, an example of the pedigree of the uh, extinct dominant uh, genetic diseases so this is a pedigree in which there are three generations this is generation number one this is generation number two and this one is generation number three and as you can see over here these are the signs uh, that you use when you make the pedigree and i have a detailed video what these signs means and i'll share the uh, link uh, in the description so this is a normal male and this is an affected female so when you talk about the normal male uh, in the x link dominant disorders this would be the uh, genotype of the normal male he is carrying one x chromosome and that is having a, a normal copy of that particular uh, gene when you talk about this female she is affected so as i've told you she can be affected in the homozygous condition but she can also be affected in the uh, heterozygous condition so you have to look at the offsprings uh, what is the information that is given to you uh, regarding the offsprings of this these particular patterns so if you look at these off these uh, patterns they are producing three offsprings the information of the three offspring that is given uh, that they are having uh, an affected male they are having uh, a normal female and they are having uh, an affected female so this is what the information is given to us so we have to try both of the conditions the homozygous as well as the homozygous condition to look that which one uh, is the uh, correct one now if you take the uh, and these are the gametes of the father she is uh, he is carrying uh, a normal copy uh, so his x chromosome is carrying a normal copy of the uh, gene this is y chromosome so it has nothing to do with the disease when you take the mother uh, as affected in the homozygous condition as you can see over here both of the x chromosome they are carrying the diseased allele so what you can expect is that all of the offsprings whether they are the male or they are the female they are going to be affected but this is not what is given to us because the one female is affected one male is affected but we also have a normal female so we have to try her in the heterozygous form as well so when you try her in the heterozygous form as you can see over here uh, you can expect uh, a normal female and that is what is given to us if they have uh, like more offspring they can also expect uh, you can say a, a normal male but according to the given data as there is one normal female we will say that the mother is affected in the uh, heterozygous form and she is not affected in the uh, homozygous form so these the, the genotype of the mother would then be the uh, x with a capital a and the x with the uh, small a so let us have the uh, genotypes of the uh, offsprings now as the male is affected so he can only be affected in uh, this particular genotype he is carrying only one x chromosome and that is carrying an uh, affected allele so the genotype we are very much sure that this would be the genotype of the uh, affected male uh, when you talk about the normal female again we are very much sure that she can only be normal in this particular genotype that both of the x chromosome that is carrying the normal allele so this is going to be the genotype of this normal female again we are not yet sure about the uh, genotype of this particular female that whether she is affected in the uh, homozygous form or she is affected in the uh, heterozygous form uh, because uh, uh, when she is affected that means she can be affected in the homozygous as well as in the uh, heterozygous form but as you can see over here that we have uh, declared the mother that she is affected in the uh, you can say uh, heterozygous form she is affected in the heterozygous form as we can see uh, uh, in this punnett square so we can say that is she is getting the normal copy uh, from the mother so one of the x chromosome will be getting the normal copy and she is getting one x chromosome with an abnormal copy uh, from her mother so that means she would be affected in the uh, heterozygous condition so this would be the uh, you can say uh, the genotype of this particular female so when you cross this affected male 
uh, with the normal female uh, what is given to us is that the females they are affected and the male that is normal and that is very much clear because uh, as i've told you that the affected father they only produce the affected female so all of the female they will be getting one of their x chromosome from their father so all of the females of this particular couple they are going to be affected when you talk about the males is they are getting their x chromosome from their mother so all of the males of this particular couple they are going to be normal so this would be the genotype of this particular uh, female she would be heterozygous and because the mother is carrying uh, both of their x allele in their both of their uh, alleles present on the x chromosome in their normal form so they will be getting one normal copy from their mother but they would be getting their other x chromosome from their father which carry the uh, affected allele so this would be the genotype of this female this would be the genotype of this male again similarly the genotype of this female affected and this affected female that would be the same now but you when you cross this uh, affected female uh, with the normal male as you can see over here uh, what is given to us is that there is an affected male and there is a normal male and there is a, a normal female so the normal female at uh, the only time she can be normal this is the genotype uh, with both of the x chromosome carrying the normal allele uh, the, uh, the son is normal that means he is getting uh, one of their uh, x chromosome uh, the which is carrying the normal allele from their mother and if he is affected she is he is getting uh, an x chromosome with the diseased allele from their mother so as we see that the mother is uh, in the heterozygous form as we have declared over here that means that this son is getting this x chromosome which carry the normal allele and this son is getting this x chromosome from their mother which is carrying the uh, abnormal allele so this is how the pedigree for the uh, extant dominant uh, genetic disease uh, that actually looks like and as i've told you there is no skipping of generation so as you can see over here there is an affected individual in the uh, generation number one there are affected individual in generation number two and you can also see the affected individuals in the uh, generation number three so if you like the video uh, please subscribe to my channel hit the like button and share it with your friends and in the next video i'll be focusing on the uh, x-linked uh, recessive uh, inheritance patterns and their pedigree analysis